Hello guys, today we're gonna talk about one of the problems which can be uh, which you can face when you're building your first 3D printer or any kind of 3D printer. So the problem uh, with uh, bearings. So the bearings which are shipped with 3D printers overseas usually are pretty shit. Why? Uh, everyone said, oh, they are from China, they pr in, in the shit, shit bearings and shit uh, lubrication. No, uh, the problem is those bearings have some sort of lubrication but they are all covered in some sort of gunk which prevent them from rusting and all this gunk is all over the place including uh, inside of the bearing so those bearings are completely unusable as they are uh, so uh, what I've done here in order uh, to build the Tronxy 3d printer I have to actually uh, clean up those bearings and lubricate them properly so for this I pull every possible bearing out of the printer uh, from from the extruder from uh, some um, idlers and so on and so forth put them all together luckily in this case all of them are that uh, don't have any kind of solvent problem problematic uh, uh, rubber in, in them so it's like a plastic or something anyways so I would like to clean up those bearings and lubricate them and we will do it together in order to illustrate uh, the I think the easiest way of doing it uh, and I want to emphasize it is super important super 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 important to have clean and nice bearing in your 3d printer or CNC or laser engraver if your bearing are garbage you better just throw away all your uh, printer straight in the garbage because you will waste so much time figuring out what the hell is happening why it's not printing why part it look like garbage and so on and so forth so first of all bearings should be nice smooth and very well lubricated so to bring a little bit of context i put this in over here and everyone understand that we are talking about tronxy 3d printer and that we are fixing their gunk top bearings so in order to um, fix those bearings we have to first clean them up so my idea is you take a pill bottle just like that they're one of the pill bottles i have lying around because actually not always throwing them away for for example purpose like that or also uh ah, i'm not going to continue i will give you some 3d printing hints and three tips maybe in some other video but for now what are you going to do you're going to take all those bearings shove them in this thing that's uh, please cleaned up first from the pill dust and things like things like that I hope it's gonna fit oh, I think they're gonna all fit in here properly Wow well look at this it's all the way to the to the brim yeah and then we're gonna use my biggest friend WD40 so what do we want to do here we want to spray all this uh, bearings uh, in this container in order to remove any gunk out of them and the WD-40 will quickly penetrate inside the bearings and also we have to shake it a bit in order to uh, wash away any gunk from inside and the next step would be obviously to lubricate them uh, so first step is to clean them up spray with WD-40 let it sit shake 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 let it uh, wash maybe spray second time and then uh, uh, dry it up as much as you can with paper towel for example or let it kind of drip a bit on the paper towel and then lubricate so let's try, start the first phase let's clean them up so I'm not gonna spray right here because I don't want to inhale all this WD-40 crap I'm gonna do it in well, well ventilated area I'll be back with you soon okay I'm back so now we have all this uh, little container full of WD-40 and uh, what you're gonna do you're gonna shake it a little bit to make sure it penetrates it's it's probably not full it's probably like you yeah, know probably one quarter of it because I don't want to first of all waste also it's very hard to fill in this container with spray WD-40 so if you have like a jar or jug of WD-40 you just pour it in seal it it'll be so much less work but then you can shake it like this shake it well shake it well and leave it to penetrate so this thing will penetrate slowly in the bearing uh, and then you can remove them and dry them out so probably let's keep it for 20 minutes 
this is more than enough time for the bearings to actually penetrate with WD-40 and here we are the jar with uh, bearings and also I prepared a few more things so first of all I have uh, uh, rubber gloves over here uh, in this case it's nitrile gloves let me align all this while I'm putting my gloves on the reason I don't want to actually touch too much of this WD-40 um, maybe I'm too, being too crazy but I think it's better to protect yourself as much as you can from chemicals and actually WD-40 is toxic so a few paper towels now we're gonna open this up and just fetch one of the bearings out of here and test if it's actually did anything and actually didn't do too much good to it the bearings are still unless I hope no it's actually no it is better better it is better I was holding it wrong because perception in the come on come out it's not that easy and have to watch out not to damage the roller itself yeah yeah it is better I must say it is better clearly better clearly better for example good good way of testing it yeah now it actually rotates as on the on, on the bearing not in just in the in the shaft so I believe many of those will be fine I'm gonna pull them one by one as much as I could and then I just pour this stuff out I think I put the paper towel actually to absorb as much of this crap as possible well, this one is not spinning as well as I wanted to oh this one is actually grindy oh this is uh, oh, oh my god I don't like this so this bearing is quite grindy so it's not a good sign unfortunately <sighs> So, what we're gonna do is, is that. Damn it. So, look like uh, using the WD 40 didn't really help much because it's just shot bearing at first place. And it's very grindy. Okay, that's put to the side. Actually, uh, let me do this. I have, I have a jar for waste. WD-40 as I may use it for other cleaning later but not for something yeah I'm gonna label it correctly you see how dirty is WD-40 I don't know if you can judge it see how cloudy and dirty this stuff is now I'm gonna hold it like this, I guess, and pour as much as okay. Okay, that's it, it's done. I'm gonna close it up, make sure to label it properly. Now I'm gonna spill all this crap out here and see what bearing actually cleaned up properly, which one is not. Wipe them very well, clean, nice and clean as much as obviously you cannot get rid of the uh, WD-40 which is inside uh, probably okay for the jaw mm, yeah I remove this from here keep it out so we have a bunch of bearings which are um, yeah, cleaned up from the gunk and now they are spinning more or less freely now we have to lubricate them I uh, have to also clean up this uh, uh, little uh, container as well and because I'm gonna use it uh, for lubrication so I from lubrication perspective have two things I have this Ingersoll uh, air tool uh, lubricant and also I have this uh, silicone lubricant from Canadian Tire Motor Master brand um, 
I was usually using this stuff on my bearings for uh, my other 3D printer and it's, it actually works very well because it's pretty light oil and it lubricates very well. The pro like I always, But I always want to try this one and we will gonna sh give it a shot today. Um, you can pretty much use either one. Uh, give it a shot today and see how it performs. If it's any superior, plus also I, I assume this is more liquidy and penetrate will penetrate those bearings way better. Perfect. And now I'm gonna spray this motor master lube outside uh, in uh, in garage or out, outside just to not inhale this stuff now um, into this container. Close it and leave it for a while to penetrate and lubricate. After some time, uh, some time of lubricating um, with that motor master silicone lubricant, I have this. Um, a jar and we will try to pull bearings out for examination. So I'm pretty sure they should be good lubricated by now. This is some sort of... it's a foam. Yeah, so this bearing didn't really help. So the very top bearing was actually the one which was shot and it's still pretty... in pretty rough shape. So it's there. Looks like nothing gonna happen. So after a good wipe of all of these uh, bearings with microfiber to make sure there is no excess uh, lubricant, uh, I have a whole bunch of clean uh, and lubricated bearings. And they all spinning quite well, except this one, which will be a probably separate story in order to actually uh, make it uh, to work. Um, but these ones are nice and clean and uh, I'm happy that I illustrated you the process how you clean and lubricate um, cheap Chinese bearings, especially if you want to use them in your 3D printer. Thank you guys for staying with me and see you next time. Okay, I think I have a success. Take a look at this. So uh, maybe the looting was a little bit too extreme measures, but hey, no big, no big deal. Yes. Pulling these bearings one from another a little, little bit, like probably a less than a millimeter, actually helped tremendously. And now those bearings are all pretty, uh, those both bearings are all pretty good. So, yeah, here we are. So, uh, not just a quality of the bearing, uh, bearings itself is the problem. Problem also the how they assembled and how all these contraptions is assembled. So, yep. Ciao.